First of all, I want to apologise. I had to go to the chamber earlier on, and if I asked a question that I'd rather been asked, I apologise. Uh, first of all, is I can guarantee you that nobody in this room has never made a mistake. So if you made a mistake, put your hands up in the air and admit it. I've never seen Eden uh, for the past week. And it's, it's a bold called hatred. The amount of people that, that really is bad right now to eat, and in fairness, they deserve it. The bottom line is, you were responsible for giving Ryan Tuberty 345,000 over the last five years, okay? And, and, and let's call a spade a spade. Dave Forbes has been thrown under a bus here. Because as a former member of a company, even myself, I'm my own business, like, she had to have some kind of allies, and she had to have some people that she could sit down and talk to. Had you used any daily meetings, weekly meetings, monthly meetings? Like, you, you talk about doing all that's there at the moment is, like, it, it, there was a successful defend back in March 2022, and, uh, like, how many audits was OTE doing a week, a month? If you've got 1,800 people working for you, you need, you need to be on top of it. And I'm just looking here at the moment is, we have seven people in the room here with seven big titles and everything else and responsibilities. And all of a sudden, only one person knows it all. I can't understand that. And I, I, I just can't accept it. And like, uh, like, I just want to ask a few questions at the moment. Is, uh, this bar to account, who uses this bar to account? Is this used for maybe for going to parties? Who uses it? Has anyone who used seven ever used that for your own use? Like, you know, these questions have to be asked. We need to get a bit of trust back in the RTE. Because in fairness, you're the biggest media in, in, in the country. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have two grandchildren at home, seven and ten, and all the time is Ryan Tuberty for the wrong reason. Like, he's no saint in this at the moment. But are you just trying to tell me that Dave Forbes ran everything? Ran 1,800 people in there. Honestly, I managed 60 or 70 people at one stage, and I'll tell you one thing, if I hadn't got a good team behind me, I was in serious trouble. So please, this is an opportunity. Put your hands up in the air. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say you're telling lies on that, but there's someone telling lies. That's just something seriously wrong here at the moment is. So, that's a few questions, yeah. That one. So just in terms of, um, if you look at the substance of the issue, which is um, there was a commercial decision made to give an undertaking to underwrite the commercial agreement. Um, that is a commercial decision which comes with risks. When the wheels came off the bus, slightly in that, it then meant that was activated and money was paid directly from RTE to Ryan Tuberty, and that then impacted the accounts we published. And I think, I mean, you can ask everyone individually here. I knew absolutely nothing about that. I can say that hand and heart. I had no idea that a guarantee had been given regarding this arrangement. Is there anyone who used seven, a personal friend of defaults? Do you, do, you, do you go socialise with them? You meet up? Because I'm, I'm sure uh, when you walk in a business, especially 1,800 people, is, and you want to ask a few questions, sometimes it's handy to go outside of all to eat and have a cup of tea and that. Was there any kind of socialising done whatsoever? Because in fairness, like, I know she's off today because of the signal not there. But listen, there's one thing you don't do. You don't throw your friends under a bus. And I said, it, 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 and in fairness, it will be got. Eventually, the truth will come out what happened at the moment. Is. I yeah. just find it so hard to understand how seven people sit in the room don't know nothing. Like, so, I, I'm happy, so I tell you one thing, if it's all work for me, when we work for me tomorrow, because in fairness, like, it's just some, like, look, at the, look at the titles you have. And, I'm just, sorry, and I'm not going to start telling me wages and everything else, because I get enough abuse being a TD over wages. But just say, like, like, there's something seriously wrong. What's wrong? Can you tell me what's wrong? There has to be something wrong. Chairperson, can you tell me what's wrong there at the moment? There's just something wrong there. I, I think everybody talked about it in terms of uh, that the culture in the organisation is not, not, not correct. Uh, there's silos. The, uh, the executive board is not functioning as an executive board should. And we have to address this. It's, it's a cu culture, as I said, that comes from the top down and it permeates right into the organisation. And it's not right. It's, it's not... This is not good. So, Adrian, how do you find what with these six people here beside you? I think I'm going to throw you under a bus as well, aren't I? So, in, in, in terms of...
I'm calling a spade a spade here. Listen, like I'd be honest, with you, if I was, if I was you, I'd be wrong with these. Does no one want to support you? So I'm asking you, do you, do you feel like you're being treated unfairly? Do you feel like you're being treated unfairly? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't operationalize any of the commercial elements that were involved, so I have no fear. You know? Let me ask another question, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Tuberty's contract was mentioned by Grant Todd and, and it's supposed to be expired. Is there any talk of a new contract for him? You and I, Director General at the moment, is, have you contacted him about a new contract? Because at the moment, his contract is, is, is expired. He has an extra 345,000. He's, he's, I'm sure he's getting paid when he's not on air. So, so, so just to clarify on that yeah. one, as, uh, as I was saying, negotiations are suspended uh, at the moment. So if negotiations are suspended, is he getting paid at the moment? <coughs> yes, he is. Yeah, so, and, uh, and uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's unreal. Now, I did ask a question about, about the, uh, the barter account. Who is using the barter account in OTE? Um, I, I, I can take that. The barter account... Uh, Taking business to a barter agency, and I'm not sure if you were here earlier, and Deputy, when I explained that this is when we have when we have airtime that we haven't sold, uh, we um, we we will take barter campaigns on occasion. It's a very very small part of our business. There were 56 campaigns in total in the whole of 2022, um, and the, the 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 mechanism by which those are paid for are 50% cash and 50% credits. This is standard in media companies, both in Ireland and internationally. What we do is we, we, we uh, the, all of the credits are added up and they're taken account of and they're reconciled on a monthly basis. So yes, that you asked the question whether the barter account had ever been used for anybody's personal gain. I can say that I signed off on um, use of the barter account prior to the, the new appropriate structures that have come into place and it was always used for our clients and our agencies. It was always used as, um, so, which is a part of our business as well, uh, it was always used um, to, whether it was an event or a presentation or whatever with uh, our clients and agencies. That's what it's been used for. It has not been used for personal gain for anybody sitting here. And who signs off on the barter accounts? Is yourself? It has been up to now. And who checks you? Who checks you? Uh, well, in, in the case of these two payments, yes. uh, the Director General was checking me. Yeah. So only, only, only so, when you, so when you sign off, and she's only one to know. Nobody. In, in, in the case of these two particular payments only. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so we have got a Director of Commercial. We got a Chief Financial Officer. My God, there's some great job. Some great job titles here at the moment. Is and, and, and nobody seems to know what's going on in OTE. Like, I'm not trying to be smart. It's no wonder. It's no wonder the public has has, has, has lost faith in Just like, you know, like you have 18, you've got the responsibility of 1,800 people. Like, you know, researchers. You, 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 the amount of people you have there is, is unreal. It's it just just like I'll be honest with you, they've got no faith whatsoever in you. So that's the question. Where are we going to go from here? Because uh, the chair has said <coughs> it is about, you know, uh, when the new DG comes in, uh, it's actually looking at all corporate governance practices to ensure that something like this never happens again. And it's about both boards working together to ensure that. Would you not try to leave from the fund now? You've, you've, you've got an opportunity of getting this job for yourself now, right? <coughs> Would you not have the balls to go away and meet Ryan Tuberty and meet his agent and everything else and, and fill in a negotiated deal? Because the taxpayers are paying this man for not being on air. And as far as I'm concerned, according to this thing at the moment, is he doesn't seem to be the problem because OT has put their hands up and admitted that they made a mistake. So if, if you're saying that Ryan Tuberty has made no mistake, why not put it back in the air? Because it's costing the taxpayers money every time he's off. <coughs> it's, just, it's just something really... Like, I know it's me. And I, I was given a job as... as you, you've been given an opportunity. Would you not just go in and, and say to yourself, I'm going to sort out the at the moment. Is. And, and, and like, instead of leaving it for four weeks for another report and six weeks for another report, before we know it would be Christmas, and then it would be the summer holidays again. But, you know... Imagine the public are paying you to look after OTE. Like, you've got a free role now at the moment. Is. Like, in, in, in fairness, nobody can really compete with you. But I'm not just saying it. What are you doing? So, is there any chance of you lifting the phone up and, 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 and contacting his agent and, 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 and asking, uh, listen, meet me up. Uh, I, I want to negotiate Ryan Tuberty's. Like, when, when, when the negotiation was going on with Ryan Tuberty uh, with Noel Kelly, who signed them off? 
Who signed off? Who signed, who signed off the, the contract? Who signed off? And, and another wee question is, who else was in the room? Maybe there was an elephant in the room that no one seen him, but is, is there somebody in the room? These are all separate. Listen, I, can't, I come from the dark and the light is, and everywhere I go, I've never seen such language. It's, it's unreal. So have any of us got the gumptions to grab this, grab this by the scruff of the neck and sort it out to eat? Because if you do, I'll support you. Thank you, as I said, we are completely committed, you know, absolutely recognise, and again, as an exec board, we totally recognise that there has been a serious breach of corporate governance here and lack of transparency, and completely own that. So, uh, <coughs> and, you know, working with the chair, we're completely committed to rebuilding good practice. But the problem is, you're making no decisions. You're putting everything on the wrong finger. Like, you know, a four weeks of this report and another week. Like, listen, hey, this is, this, is, this is our money. And in fairness, you've been given a job to do that at the moment. Is. So you are the leader of RTE now, right? Yeah. Uh, so listen, what, what are you going to do to change things? I, I think if you look at the timeline of events, when this was discovered in March, it was immediately activated by the board. A report was commissioned. Once that was found, then a statement was immediately uh, put out in the public. And since then, basically, over the last seven days, we've been establishing uh, the facts. Right, would you, I just finished up with Joe. Would you agree with me that Ryan Tuberty had the best job in ODE? I'm not going to comment on that. And, and do you think when he, when he announced in March that he was stepping down the Late Late Show, and all of a sudden, the people who I thought and the people that the public thought was going to get the jobs didn't go for the jobs? <clears throat> so I'm a firm believer an awful lot of people knew what was going on in ODE. And if you're telling me you used to know what was going on in OTE and other people that didn't go for the job, I'm not going to mention the names for the simple reason I don't want to allow to mention names, but there's a lot of high-profile people who I, I, I know are very ambitious people in OTE and an opportunity of taking on right top of these job and hadn't they... I don't know what they had because they, they must know something that we didn't know. And I'm sure you know what I'm saying, but there's, there's something seriously wrong here when presenters have an opportunity of getting the biggest job in OTE. Because you know yourself, age, you had Gabe Bourne, you had Pat Kenny, you had Ryan Tuberty. These jobs don't come in too far between. So, it's, was, it, was it known before March 2023 about Ryan Tuberty and these payments? <clears throat> From what I can see in terms of the timeline, there is no relationship between these payments and the decision to step down from the Late Late Show. Thanks, Mr. Thank you.